Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am busting out my Philips smokeless infrared grill again and I'm going to give something a try. I'm going to try using Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger patties. I'm going to try grilling them up on the grill and see how they turn out. I've never tasted these uh, burger patties before. They're completely 100% plant-based if you didn't know that and um, yeah I'm just used to eating meat so uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Now it's only been what about a year or two that you've seen uh, this presence of plant-based uh, burgers out on the market um, that you know that are really supposedly really like me you know you have the beyond burger you have impossible burgers uh, burger king of course has its impossible whopper now sure enough there were burger patties like this the beyond burger patties at my local supermarket and i that was the first time i've ever seen them on the shelves uh, in the freezer section so i decided to buy two uh, a package of two i'm gonna put them on the grill and uh, give them a taste and see how it goes now again, I am a dedicated meat eater, so this is uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me because I'm pretty sure I know the, you know, I'm so used to the texture of a burger, burger meat, and I really just, ugh, I hope I'm not disappointed by the taste. I'm hoping that, you know, of course, grilling um, will help it, you know, with the flavors and just give it that you know that nice uh, barbecue grill kind of taste smoky and all that maybe that will help with the you know making it really taste like meat yeah, I'm, I'm nervous but I'm also optimistic too and who knows this might be a new option for me to eat you know eat more healthy healthier diet and all that so uh, we'll see I'm going to also dress my burger with some caramelized onions and um, and put them on some brioche buns. Okay, so disclaimer, I just want to make it clear that I am not a professional chef. I am a novice, if anything. I'm learning along with you. I'm no expert. I'm just like, I'm down for a gadget though. I'm down for a gadget that will make my life easier. And if I don't have to scrape down a big old gas grill or a charcoal grill and just have this little puppy right here, uh, that's my motivation and yeah I mean I'm just like an everyday user trying to figure this out the Philips smokeless infrared grill has two settings the first setting is just for warming I believe and then the second setting is just a constant cooking temperature of 446 degrees Fahrenheit which is I guess the magic number for grilling searing meats and other things that you want to cook on this grill now remember, before I put my patties on the grill, we had to prepare the caramelized onions. And how I did that was over a medium heat, I had some butter and olive oil, and then some sliced onions. Again, you're gonna cook those on a medium heat to even just slightly below medium, and keep stirring until you see the onions break down a little bit, and they're a little flexible like that and of course you see the browning you don't want the heat up too high because you want to establish that nice brown caramelization of the onions so you keep stirring and if you see that the onions are getting a little too cooked you can you know pour in a, a tablespoon of chicken broth And just my personal preference for caramelized onions, I do like putting in a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar and also a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now, once the onions are thoroughly translucent and brown, you can set them aside as you prep to grill your burgers. All right, I have the patties right here set up next to the grill and I'm just gonna give you some observations, uh, close-up looks at how the meat looks. This is the Beyond Meat Beyond Burger patty. This burger patty is again completely plant-based. Right off the bat, I'm smelling it. And it definitely um, has a different odor to it. I mean, it's not unpleasant, but it's definitely not meat. It smells almost like, I hate to say it, but it smells almost like rubber or plastic. 
So we're gonna have to marinate this. So here we go. Here's again another shot of the patties. Um, yeah, the smell is definitely not meat-like. I wish they could kind of like put in some like like smoke essence or some kind of meat essence at least kind of at least make it smell like meat so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna take like a store-bought um basting uh or sauce uh maybe like a teriyaki sauce and just put this over the meat after it's cooked for a while uh just so i can you know try to have a nice uh nicer smell mm. all right here we go first patty oh yes that sizzle did you hear that enjoy the complimentary ASMR. So just some initial um, concerns again, just being so new to this product. One of the things I'm wondering is how do we determine what is doneness for a product like this because it's not meat it doesn't have you know the redness of meat the blood of course to determine what is medium you know uh, medium well I guess you know just to be safe you probably would have to like hook it through so that's one of the things I just thought about right now putting it on the grill I'm like how am I gonna know the doneness right All right, I'm about to give these a, a turn. Wow, the browning is really, really nice. Okay, I will say this, something that I'm observing right now is as they're cooking, they're giving off a meaty, like a genuine kind of meaty burgery kind of smell now. They smelled a little weird when they were raw out of the package, but now that you've given them, you know, a little time to cook, um, they actually smell like meat. And something that's also really cool is, is that they're very juicy. You can see this bubbling going on right at the grill grates. And yeah, they're, they're really juicy. Now, the beauty again of this grill is that it's an indoor grill. I'm here on a covered porch because I just wanted to be outside and enjoy this nice weather today. Uh, but yeah, you could cook this indoors and, and there's no smoke. It really is virtually smokeless. It's amazing. Uh, and it's just because of the way it's constructed. The heat source is actually coming off of the sides of the grill. So when the fat passes through and drops to the bottom, it's not being heated up and that's what causes um, that's what causes smoking. So that's the amazing thing. You can really, really cook this indoors. I just wanna say too, I'm not being sponsored by Philips. I'm just like, you know, I bought the grill and I just wanted to experiment with it. I'm going to be doing a couple of different series of different types of food uh, to grill on this uh, Philips infrared uh, smokeless grill. So uh, there'll be a couple more videos on my page uh, where I'm just trying it out. I just like the taste of grilled food. I mean, it's healthier. And so I'm just gonna try to eat better this year in 2020 and use this guy right here to help me. Okay, we're about 10 minutes in now with the cook time. And so I'm getting ready. I've taken some store-bought glaze and I'm putting some teriyaki glaze here on these burgers, just coating them while they cook and finish off. I've also put them to the side here because I'm getting ready to put in some brioche buns. Let's flip them now and I'm doing the other side. All right, I have my brioche buns grilling up now. I managed to get some awesome grill marks on the burgers and now I'm just gonna top them off with some caramelized onions that I prepped beforehand on my stove top. Oh yeah, look at that. 
I don't want to overload this burger with too many toppings like cheese and whatnot because I'm curious, I really want to taste how the plant-based burger, you know, I just really want to taste how it, if it really tastes like meat. Yummy. And here's the finished product. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. The burgers are done. I've put them all together with my brioche buns and my caramelized onions. I have it right here. I'm gonna give it a bite. Sorry, it's burnt a little bit on the bun. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, I'm so glad that I chose to keep it simple so I could really taste the meat. Just, you know, a little bit of onions there that are caramelized, but wow, this Beyond Meat, it is amazing. It, it tastes like meat, like a burger patty. It really does, holy cow. So I just wanted to put that in because I need to get to eating this burger and finishing it off because I really could finish it off. I could eat, I, at this point, I could feel like, it, I feel like I could eat four of these. It tastes like meat. I'm serious. It freaking tastes like meat. Wow. Holy cow. All right. I'm here for the final thoughts. Oh my gosh. The grill did so awesome. It was about 10 minutes cook time and the burgers remained juicy. I swear, I thought I was eating meat. I'm, I'm still shocked. And I'm also like, why didn't I buy more? So now I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the thought of, I gotta go stock up on these, these Beyond Meat burgers now. I can't wait to cook it again. So uh, if you wanna try out what I did, get yourself the Beyond Burger from Beyond Meat. Uh, some teriyaki glaze for barbecuing for that extra punch of flavor. Make sure you get some onions in there, caramelize them. It's worth the time. It takes a little bit of time to cook those things up, but so worth it for the flavor. And you're good to go, man. Oh man, I, better than anything I've uh, tried at a restaurant recently, seriously. I'm still shocked. Can you see it in my, can you see it in my face? So good. I wish I could have cooked up two more burgers. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you liked what you saw here, please be sure to like the video, share it if you can. And if you're so inclined, subscribe to my channel, MK671TV. Uh, I'll be doing a steady series cooking with this guy, my Philips infrared, smokeless infrared grill. And we'll be doing more food adventures with that. Until next time, see you guys.